Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is just gonna be a chatty get ready with me, although it's already like what? seven o'clock at night and i just got home from work i got my candle on i got my this is beer it's not wine i love my little like flute what is this called flute so i'm just wetting my sponge this is the elf um cookies and dreams sponge and i do have a video of the elf cookies and dream launch and i'll be linking that up here i'm also going to be using the nyx plump right back primer this one is supposed to be like tacky compared to their marshmallow primer which i also have which i like using in the winter time when my skin is dry now i'm going to be mixing up the nars soft matte foundation in mont blanc or light 2 with the elf camo cc cream just because the mont blanc one the nars one is a little too pink for me now and the camo one is a little too yellow and dark for me i usually go for the superstay by maybelline the superstay foundation i love that foundation i mean this was pre-pandemic so i actually cared about wearing foundation i cared about um, coverage and i cared about all that stuff and then you know covid hit and i'm like meh i don't really care anymore now that everything is like starting to open up again and we're starting to remove the mask mandates it's kind of like getting back up there and i'm kind of interested in wearing foundation again i'm excited about makeup again i really like the combination of those two foundations they actually look really good on my skin if you have dry skin you'll probably like the mellow the marshmallow um primer more i'm also thinking of doing a marshmallow versus plump it uh, primer to see which one's better but I already have an idea of what I like now we're going in with the NYX bear with me concealer serum concealer my thoughts on this okay I actually don't like it very much so many people really like this concealer for some reason it creases really badly on me and I just can't get on board somehow like it's it's nice a nice medium coverage it doesn't look too drying but it creases really badly like within the next within the hour of me putting it on it creases and I tried setting it I tried not setting it I tried setting it with um, different kinds of powders and it just doesn't work for me the way it works for other people i guess what might work for you might not work for me what might work for me might not work for you but i guess i'm in the minority when i say i don't actually enjoy the serum concealer as much as everybody else does i don't know i just don't know how to make it work if you have any like recommendations on how you can make the nyx serum concealer work please comment down below to set my foundation and my concealer i'll be using the elf hello glow powder i actually really like this powder it's very finely milled this one is nice for my under eyes because it doesn't make it look too dry and i'll also set around my nose although to be honest it's the end of the day so i don't really need to set anything because i won't be going anywhere once i'm done with this video i'm leaving i'm gonna take it off and remove everything and that's that Next, I'm going in with the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in Sunlight. This is number one sunlight. I also have number two, I think. Or did I return that? I'm not sure. This one, I actually like it. It's kind of pigmented, but it's easy to blend. And this is more of a bronzer rather than like a contour color for me. You can see that's a little bit warmer than I would like for a contour. But I have not found a contour shade for me yet. I am still using my Sculpt Glow by Vocalure. This I have had for a year now, I think. And I'm about to hit pan on my favorite, favorite um, contour shade. And I need help because I cannot find Vocalure anywhere. I'm also going to use this Flower Heat Wave. It's got like this nice shimmer. I actually really like it. It's got a shimmer that I am... Um, see that? I actually really like it. But let me just like buff this a little bit more i don't want it to look too harsh i don't like super harsh um, makeup okay i think that's okay next i'll be using my milani blossom time rose um, this is the rose powder blush i've wanted this for a long time i finally got it when i found out that i had a walmart i'm like oh i had so i, I went to like four walmarts because i've always wanted to go to walmart and i finally found a walmart 
So I actually love this color. I didn't think I would like this color because it was like peachy, but I actually really like it. I'm very interested in the um, the Dior like lilac blush. It's not something that I ever would think of, you know, a blush for me, but it just looks so interesting. I love this color on me, and this is a matte blush. I'm trying the Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer. I saw a YouTuber use this, and she really likes it. She thinks it's like the Amrezy highlighter with ABH, and I've always wanted that highlighter, but it's too, it was too expensive and now it's sold out so you can't really get it anymore. I don't dabble into highlighter very much anymore. It's just highlighter is not something that's in my staple anymore. I remember when there was a big YouTube highlighter craze and Jeffree Star, he had these really big pans of highlighters. Does he even sell those still? I'm not sure. You know how some highlighters they cast, like have a, like a gray cast? This one is good for my skin tone. I actually like this one. So I'll just do my brows real quick. They're actually already done from, you know, this morning when I was working. And I'm just going to be redoing them. I'm going to be using my ever favorite super fine brow liner by H&M. I have the shade Espresso. And I absolutely... Oh my gosh. This is the Thicket Stick It NYX eyebrows thing. Oh, this is amazing amazing i'm gonna have a review on this and it's just freaking amazing spoiler alert i can't hold it in it's that good my concealer is not happy look at that that is real life right there i don't know what the other youtubers are doing to make the nyx serum concealer work but i have concealers that don't do this case in point my wet n wild incognito concealer my absolute favorite drugstore concealer so far. So I really want to use my Bite Size eyeshadow palettes by e.l.f. So I'm going to use this one today just because I want something super simple and quick. I also have some others, but this one is a little bit more berry and this one is a little bit more mauve. And I'm feeling a little warm today, so I'm going to use the... This is the one in Cream and Sugar. So this will be really quick. When you just work with the Bite Size palettes, they're literally... Whatever is on the pan, that's what you put and it, you're done. I don't do eyeshadow much anymore. It's not something that I have to do or that I'm actually enjoying doing for work because I work in a lab and I don't feel the need for eyeshadow. Like literally nobody wears eyeshadow over there. If you work in customer service, I guess, but then now because COVID, most people work from home, so they don't really find the need to wear eyeshadow i even just used one brush lazy these two shades that came with it just use them the lighter one in the inner corner and then the darker one just in the middle so i'm literally using this whole palette to its full capacity and then i'll put the gold one in the inner corner it's a highlight Ooh, that's a nice highlight I'll just be reinvigorating the dark brown on the outside and then under the eyes. See? Simple, quick, yay. Bite size. I actually already have mascara on from this morning when I, you know, put mascara to go to work. All I'll do is recurl them, maybe apply one thin coat, and then I'll be putting falsies. I realize now that the reason I'm having such a hard time is I forgot the liner. Of course. So I'm using the Physicians Formula Waterproof Liner. This one has been recommended by a lot of people, but I'm trying to get another good one, the one by NYX. I hear really good reviews about the NYX one, also about the, um, I think that was the Flower Beauty one. It's not super the same, but I don't care. Oh my gosh, all the cat hair on my lashes. How did it even get to the lashes? They were in the drawer. Just excuse me, my cat wants to go in, so let me just open the door for him. Yes, Biscuit. Of course, since I opened the door, he doesn't want to go in. And now he's inside, yay. <laughs> oh, cats, 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 cats. For the bottom lashes, I liked something that is thinner than usual, like this Lash Paradise, sorry, Lash Princess by Essence. Um, the green one, it's got a thinner wand compared to others, so it's easier to put my lower lashes without it transferring to my other, like to my cheek. Okay, now he wants to go out. Yes, honey. I told you he'd want to go out after a minute. That wasn't even a minute. Ugh. 
I'm just going to add a little more blush. This is one of my favorite blushes. This is the Fit Me blush by Maybelline. And it's in the shade Nude. This blush I like because it's not like matte. But it's also not super sparkly. So I'm actually going to do a swatch video of the Revlon Colorstay Satin Inks. So stay tuned for that because that's what I'm going to be doing right now. And I'm also going to be doing a Milani Fetish lipstick swatch right now so stay tuned for that so don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and comment down below and all that jazz this is the revlon color stay or just the revlon lipstick in untold stories it's the matte version and i love the bullet look at that oh my gosh this this is the perfect nude for me the absolute perfect nude for me see that it looks like my lips creamy but matte Mm. I've been having this habit of over drawing or over applying my lipsticks to make my lips appear a little bit bigger and I really like the effect of it I don't know if I'm gonna ever have injections because that's just too scary and I don't like pain like lip pain Ugh, no over drawing on my lips why not it's painless I'm just gonna be putting a gloss over top the gloss I'll be using is gonna be very different you will not expect this so I recently got the cookies and dreams collection by uh, elf and I am so intrigued by this gloss because it's black you can't really see the blackness but I'm so curious to see how it performs on top of like like you know nude lipsticks let's see what happens Mm. it just made it darker i actually really like the effect that it does i just don't like the packaging the wand it doesn't rem it doesn't take there's just so little product that comes out and it's, it really irritates me because i want to put a lot of gloss you know that made it a little grayish i'm actually really liking it so I think, uh, yeah, that, that was a good choice. I really like it now. Before I leave you, I'm going to set my makeup with the Tower 28 SOS Rescue Facial Spray. Okay, everyone, there you have it. That is my chatty get ready with me at night when I'm about to get ready for bed video. I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Have a good day, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!